Almost 450,000 federal employees are working without pay while Washington is in deadlock. Daryl Palmer and Joseph Pelicano are two of them. They're corrections officers at a federal prison in Pennsylvania. They haven't been paid since the government shutdown started four weeks ago. I have a family. I have uh, bills for college. I pay for my son, um, gas in my car, heating bills, um, taxes, mortgages, car loans, all that stuff that comes with life. And unfortunately, um, some of that stuff's on hold right now. The Federal Bureau of Prisons says there are almost 180,000 federal prisoners in the U.S and almost 40,000 federal correction officers to guard them. They're considered essential employees. It means that they're necessary to protect life and property, and they have no choice but to report to work during the shutdown. The government will shut down, our paychecks will stop coming, but the inmates aren't gonna stop. So we have, to, we have to be there all the time. And it's a stressful, sometimes dangerous job. We have terrorists, we have convicted murderers, uh, MS-13 gang members, um, drug dealers, rapists, um, you name it, uh, we have the worst of the worst and uh, the men and women have to deal with that every day they go into work. Palmer and Pelicano work in the town of Waymart. It has a population of about 1,300 and the federal prison here employs around 400 people. Many federal prisons are located in rural towns like Waymart, where there are few job opportunities. So it's often the prisons, which are the largest employers, providing the main source of income for most residents. With the government shutdown now the longest in U.S. history, limited alternatives for work mean people here are struggling to cope. But any compromise between Democrats and Republicans to pass budget bills and reopen the government seems far off. We're stuck in the middle, like a tug of war. Um, it's, it's unfair. It's very unfair for people to risk their lives every day, law enforcement officers, to go into these prisons across this nation and not receive a paycheck. I think that our paychecks don't have anything to do with the Democrats and Republicans. We just want them to sit down, work it out, and so we can all move on and take care of our families. Palmer and Pelicano aren't certain when they'll get their next paycheck but they do know there will always be someone to guard the prisoners. Alexi Noel, TRT World, Waymart, Pennsylvania.